The Apple A14 Bionic was the first 5nm chipset that was introduced into the tech industry, while the Exynos 1080 is the third 5nm chip introduced. The first difference between these two processors is the price cost. For instance, smartphones that are powered by the A14 Bionic are more expensive. The Apple iPhone 12 mini starts at $699 USD, while the first smartphone that will use the Samsung Exynos 1080 chip is expected to launch in China by January 2021. The phone's price is expected to start at $500 USD. So, Exynos 1080 power smartphones are expected to be more price friendly. The second difference between these two is the regional availability. The Apple's A14 Bionic chipset power smartphones are available globally, unlike the Exynos 1080 power smartphones that are expected to be restricted to China markets only. So, if you are living outside China, the chances of you getting Exynos 1080 power smartphones are slim, if not almost impossible. Anyways, it seems it's too early to say as things might change next year. Now, when it comes to the Antutu benchmark scores, it is outrightly improper to measure the performance of these two chipsets by their Antutu points. Reason is because both chipsets are configured to different operating systems. So, the best benchmark score to use is that of Geekbench. And judging by the fact that the Apple A14 benchmark Geekbench scores is higher than that of the Exynos 2100, which is Samsung flagship chipset, it is outrightly right to say that the Exynos 1080 is smashed by the Apple's A40 balance chipset. But just for reference sake, here are the answer to scores of both chipsets. The Exynos 1080 has the highest point, but like we said, that doesn't mean anything because the Apple A40 Bionic still gets higher score on Geekbench, so it is better than the Exynos 1080 if you go by the Geekbench scores. In the areas of CPU, the Apple's A40 Bionic chipset features 6 CPU cores, 2 high performance cores and 4 high efficiency cores. The A14 Bionic allegedly clocks up to 3.1 GHz frequency. The Samsung Exynos 1080, on the other hand, has 3 cluster CPU architects by integrating the latest ARM Cortex A78 because operating up to 2.8 GHz frequency. It also integrated an ARM Cortex A78 window cores that clocked up to 2.6 GHz, and finally, four Cortex A52 cores that clocked up to 2.0 GHz frequency. The Exynos 1080 looks promising on spec sheets, but in real life performance, the Apple's A14 Bionic King sits. The A14 Bionic also features Apple's latest GPU architecture with four new GPU cores. According to Apple, the new GPU delivers up to 30% increase in graphics performance when compared to its predecessor. The Exynos 1080, on the other hand, has an ARM Mali G78 GPU with 10 cores on board. Thus, in terms of rendering and gaming, the A14 Bionic is better than the Exynos 1080. How do we know? You see, the Q9000 uses 24 cores GPU which is better than the 10 cores the Exynos 1080p has on board, of which the Q9000 hardly measures up to the Apple latest GPU. That leads us to no conclusion. The A14 Bionic has better GPU than Exynos 1080. Overall, the A14 Bionic chipset is more advanced than the Exynos 1080, which is not surprising in the first place because the Exynos 1080, although a 5 nanometer chip, but it was built for mid-range devices. Other differences and similarities between these two new chipsets are as follows.
Thank you.